thanks for watching my video. So today we're going to be looking at some fan-made custom content packs. Uh, I'll be going through a couple of them. Uh, they're both by the Plum Bob Tea Society. So the first one is the Sims 4 Cottage Garden Stuff. And the second one is the Sims 4 Rustic Romance Stuff. So both these packs have both creator sim items and some stuff build and buy items as well so we'll go through all of that if you like any of this stuff I will leave a link in the uh, video description of where you can download it yourself so yeah on with the CC okay so I'm gonna start off in uh, create a sim and just take a look at what bits we get we're just gonna go through toddler to adult okay so this is uh, the romantic the rustic romantic stuff you can see because of the little icon there which is very helpful so you've got two little cute flower girl dresses, very sweet, in lots of different colours as well. And you also, with this one, you get the option to have the full colour or white with just a little trim on top. Oh, that's very sweet. Perfect for the family photos. And then you also get this cute little shirt and waistcoat, again with the rustic, romantic stuff. And these little shorties right here. And then when they are a child, they also still get two dress options. Quite cute, quite cute. And then I'm guessing they also get the same shorts. Yeah, so they get pretty much the same sort of options they would get when they're toddlers. And then for teenagers, you get these nice uh, trousers. I quite like them actually, they're not even just for weddings. I'd wear them to work myself. And you can have this nice like suit jacket combo in lots and lots of different colour swatches as well. And then in terms of full body, you have this dress here in lots and lots of different colours. You also have this dress as well. I mean, she's wearing the perfect shoes to be showing everyone these dresses. <laughs> you also get this all-in-one in lots of different colours as well. And you get this dress. What I really like about this is the detail, like you can change just the colour of the belt to match all of the like bridesmaids and flower girls and stuff. It's the, it's the details for me, I like the details. One thing I did forget to do though is look at the hairstyles and hats. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> so there are two st hairstyles you get with the Rustic Romance pack. One that looks like this, very pretty, very bridal. And then another one that looks like this. And then you also get a few uh, hair pieces as well, so you can have a veil, and you can pick what colour veil you want. You can also have a little bunch of flowers, or you can have just the one flower. I'm guessing that one is more for the other hairstyle. Yeah, that one, like that. And you can have lots of different colours. And for boys, when they're toddlers, they get the same outfit that the girls get. Um, they just don't get the dress. And then again, it's pretty much the same when they're kids. And then adults get quite a few shirts, so they've got... Let me put them in some of the trousers you get. So you get these trousers in all different colours. And then you get like a shirt and tie combo, whichever sort of colours you like. Or you can have more of a James Bond look, open shirt. Or you can just have a blazer and tie. Whatever you like, whatever you like. So lots of options for the adults as well. Okay, so... The other pack hasn't loaded into my game, but that's fine because we're doing two packs anyway, even though they're made by the same creator. So what we'll do first off is just look at the stuff you get with the romantic, the rustic romantic pack. And then I'll just log back in and then do a separate video. So the first half will just be on the romantic pack and the second half will just be on the gardening pack. Problem solved. Okay, so I'm just going to do what I usually do and just grab everything that's in this pack and just drag it out and then once I've done that then I'll figure out where to put everything. I'm liking the detail in this high chair even just the little <laughs> cushion like tied to it. Lots of tables you get. Lots of tables. Perfect for a rustic kind of vibe. I'm guessing that's what they were aiming for what with it being rustic romantic and all. Oh that's a bar. Oh that's really nice. And the thing I like about this is that the swatches are all the same colours as the, like, the clothing. So you can literally have the same colour theme throughout your wedding day. Which is what you're looking for in, in your wedding day, really. You want everything to match. You <laughs> even get this gigantic tree. Oh, they're quite cute. I think you can hang them um, up on the wall. 
if you like. And then these, oh, they are beautiful, beautiful drapes. Oh, shut up. You get a tablecloth as well that you can just place on the table. Oh, stop it. And of course, it's the same colour swatches as, oh, give it a rest. That is fantastic. Oh, I'm very impressed with that. And then you've got your wedding cake separately and you can pop it on the, uh, the cake stand right there. Genius. Next time I play out a wedding, I'm using only this stuff. Cute little wreath there. And then a little flower arch, another flower arch. And this is another wreath here, only this one I think has made from different material. Oh, that's so adorable. Little wedding sign, little mason jars. Oh, so you've got these little lights, but they can be combined with the jar. So if you put them in the jar, they'll like light up. Oh, just like that, see? Oh, beautiful. That's so cute. And then you've got the sign here that you usually get at weddings that just say the wedding of blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. I really like that. And then some more like draping here. Little tray with some wine and a few glasses of wine. Some candles. Set the ambience. A cute lantern here. Oh, I just love everything about this pack. I really do. Even, like, look at that light. Come on. And then this one, the jars. Oh, it's so pretty. And you can obviously get them in different colours. Okay, and that's, that's everything. Well, that's quite a sizeable pack, if you ask me. Plus all the stuff you get in Creator Sim. This could genuinely be, like, an EA-owned pack. Unbelievable. Right, well, I am going to be back in a sec and try and actually do something with this and try and make it look like a wedding venue. Back in a sec. Okay, so I just made a cheeky little wedding venue. Uh, I did add a few things from base game, like the DJ booth and dance floor, but that's only because I'm actually planning on using this, <laughs> this wedding venue for um, my own gameplay. So I want it to be functional. But yay, so with this pack you've got these really pretty um, flower hanging things, I don't know what they're called. You also get these little ladders with the flowers spiralling up them, these tables, the candles, the chairs. In here is everything from um, just this pack, so like the drapes, the wreaths, the little buckets, the bar. And then this is the bit where they actually get married. I did chuck a... Um, an actual altar in there just because I don't know if it will work without one so I kind of figured everything else is just decor and then the little lanterns and the stalls that you get with this pack um, just coming down for guests to sit the piano unfortunately isn't part of this pack this is just another piece of CC that I had but I'm sure you can find it if you just search for a pink piano um, but the lights and everything else is from the pack and then over here in like the eating area, this is all just the pack stuff. So like the stuff on the table, the little jars with the lights in, the cup with the um, cutlery in it, and the little decorative um, flower centerpiece. This is all from the pack. And then you've got a little cake stand over here on its own little table. Got the top table over here with the wine. So yeah, yeah, let's see what it looks like at night time. Very pretty, very lit up at light at night time. Very nice, very nice. So all of the little areas are separately lit up. So yeah, there we go, there we go. Lots of things you can do with this pack. Perfect pack for a wedding. I'm definitely not uninstalling this. I'm keeping it forever. But uh, yeah, as I say, if you want this, then the link is in the description. And uh, let's take a look at the next pack now. Okay, so now with the cottage garden stuff pack, we will start with the toddler. So you get two new cute hairstyles. You get this one, with a little ribbon in her hair, and then you get this one as well. Uh, clothing wise, I'm not quite sure what you get for clothes, so that will be a surprise for everyone. Oh, you get quite a few cute little outfits with this one. So you've got this all in one in lots and lots and lots of different swatches. And then you have this little dress and shorts combo. Oh, that is so cute. That is so sweet. I love that. Uh, what else do you get? You get this 
dress here. So you can have it in like plaid tartan or you can just have it as a block colour or there are a few other patterns as well. There's also this dress, quite a lot of outfits for toddlers really. So you can have a block colour or again you can have a little pattern. This stuff is really cute. And then just these like shorts combo. I think it's the same swatches as you got with the little top and shorts. Very, very cute. I'm not sure if you get any other accessories. Oh yeah, you get this. Oh, <laughs> you get this little ribbon for this hairstyle. And then you can change the colour of the ribbon for the other hairstyle. That's so sweet. I'm loving this uh, with this creator, the Plum Bob Tea Society. I love that they make hairstyles and then they make accessories for that hairstyle. That's really sweet. Okay, well then let's have a look at kids. Okay, so I can't see any new hairstyles for kids. I will just say though, when I tried to download this pack as a whole, it just wasn't really working, so I had to go in and download everything individually. So there is a chance that some things could be missing. Um, so basically everything I show you is stuff that you do get with this pack, but if you download it yourself, there'll be like extra things as well that I haven't got on here. But you get this dress in loads of different colours. This dress as well, which is the same one as the one you get when you're a toddler. You get this little combo here. And if you're going for more of a rustic kind of farmer sort of look, then this is perfect. And this one, oh, I really love this. This is really cute. In lots of different colour swatches as well. So there you go. There you go. And then finally for the adults, you get this hairdo which is quite cute. You also get this one. I think you get a few accessories with that one as well. Yeah, so if you go into hats, you get options of different, like, flowers. You can pick the colours. This one's quite pretty, the flowers all the way round. And this one as well. I think these are meant for the other hairstyles that you get, but just to kind of show you. And then you get this little hat in different colours, obviously. Uh, this flower one. And I think, oh yeah, and then one more, which is this one, which comes with the other hairstyle that has the, uh, the bandana look. So if you go for this one, then you can just change what kind of headband she's wearing. And then this as well, which is like a hat thing, which I think is more for if your sims have their hair down, then it works. You also get this top here in different colours, and this top as well in different colours. You get a pair of trousers as well. And you also get this like patchwork skirt, which is very, you know, goes with the theme quite nicely. You also get this dress, which I really like, mainly because I really like the plaid, this, this pattern. I quite like this version. You also get this all in one here, again in lots and lots of different colours. You get this dress in all different colours. You also get this one, and you also get this outfit here. So quite a lot, actually, quite a lot of stuff. This pack and the um, rustic romantic one, they actually do feel like proper stuff packs because, I mean, they fit in with the same style, but also you get like the same amount of stuff, really. And then for the men's stuff, you get a variety of different shirts and also a pair of trousers and then a couple of full bodies as well, which are basically the same as the ones you get for the ladies. So uh, yeah, quite a lot in uh, Creator Sim, but let's have a look in Build and Buy. Okay, so I'm just going to grab everything on here and just drag it out so you can see it and then we'll figure out what to do with it after that. Oh, I'm already loving this. This is a little picket fence, a picket sign you can put in your garden that says what you're growing. Little pear, little strawberry, I would love that. A jar where you can put your flowers. Another jar here. I'm guessing that's like a planting book. Stepping stone few vegetables there. I think you get a basket with this as well so you can stick the vegetables on there. Oh how clever. So you've got some plant pots here, a few rocks. You also have some herbs. If you put them on the ground they just sort of lay down on the floor but if you put them on top of something then they stand up. <laughs> plant. I might put these herbs here on the on the tree stump. So I think this is a wall decoration item. You also get a little basket here. I'm pretty sure, yeah. And of course, the fruit fits, per the vegetables fit perfectly in the basket. They've thought of everything. A little tray, oh that's cute. Could put that on like a bedside table or something. 
some flowers and you can get different colors if you like a barn door <laughs> watering can oh and water comes out of it as well amazing <laughs> you also have a light bulb here another tree stump this cute little decor item here some more stuff to hang up some wellies i love the wellies i really like that i really like having just wellies standing by the back door you get a little wreath with some it looks like lemons lemons on it but then i'm guessing you can change the fruit yeah woven rug oh that's so nice that is really nice i really like that and you get lots of different colors as well or you can go for a pattern that is very nice really like that barrel fountain another table this is a mirror supposedly is it oh yeah it is it is it's a mirror it's somewhere to put your spices and things so yeah you get quite a lot of stuff this is all the stuff I have and I don't think I even managed to download every single item so uh, with everything that I could download this is what you get quite a lot of stuff so uh, I'm gonna be back in a sec and try and build something out of this to kind of show you what it looks like in a built-up room back in a sec Okay, so I didn't build much, but I just made like a little patch just to give you guys an idea of what it would look like if you all sort of put it together. So this is the outdoor area. I just stuck the signs in a few little garden um, plant boxes. And then inside you've got like the shelving, the little jars, the table. The rocking chair doesn't come with the pack. I have used some stuff from the base game. I downloaded that separately. Again, I literally just googled rocking chair and it had that but yeah the stuff looks quite good if you're going for like a rustic kind of farmhouse vibe especially with the wellies in the corner so uh, yeah I would recommend this pack as I say if you do want it then the uh, I'll leave the link to download it in the description Hopefully you don't have any trouble downloading it. When I tried to download the whole pack, it didn't really work. It just didn't show up in my game, so I had to go and download items individually. Um, so if for whatever reason you're not able to download the whole pack, it is possible to get the items individually anyway, um, using the same link. So there is that. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end it here. So thanks for watching, if you've watched this far. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.